everyone, and uh, welcome back to the IMAG pre-meeting webinars, and we will continue with part two of the DARPA presentation. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for coming back to the second part of our presentation on COSMOS, an AI assistant for accelerating scientific discovery. So the goal of COSMOS is to consume publications and other types of unstructured data, scientific model code, and uh, be able to offer easy to deploy and readily available services that can help domain scientists extract knowledge uh, and uh, retrieve and read information about scientific phenomena. So at its core, Cosmos has a universal representation that we will present uh, in the subsequent slides that represents this multimodal context information from scientific literature into uh, a semi-structured uh, format that can be used to power applications such as constructing knowledge bases on demand, generating data sets, extracting observational data from the literature, and so on. Before I go into the details of the engine, let me just show you an example of what it means to extract knowledge from the scientific publications. This is a snippet from that describes a specific scientific model. And as you can see, there are different types of modality that one has to reason about to understand and analyze this knowledge. You have an equation, and there is text that describes this equation. There are results that are experimental or observational data associated with this equation, and these present, are presented in a table. And there are also section headers that describe the content of uh, this table and the, uh, some provide a summary of the results. As humans, we can easily I understand that different parts of this document correspond to these different types of modalities, a table, uh, text, or an equation, and we are able to draw connections between across these different contexts to have a more comprehensive view of the knowledge described in this document. For example, here you see the parameter uh, that is the output of, of the equation being uh, presented in, in this table with specific values associated to this parameter given a certain context. Having access to this data is of paramount importance uh, to many scientific uh, discoveries and, and to downstream uh, applications for uh, accelerating uh, scientific, the scientific process. So how do we get access to, to this information? This is easy for uh, humans, but it is not easy for a machine. A machine, the first step is that it needs to actually have access to these elements, recognize that these different scan elements correspond to equations, figures, texts, and tables, and be able to have a representation like a semi-structured or, or fully structured representation of this content such that it can recognize these types of dependencies that, that we saw before. So our solution to this is that we start from to be able to adapt to heterogeneity and be able to support uh, public different formats we actually start by processing this as a vision problem. So for each PDF, first we have the corresponding images, the, the, the images that correspond to the different pages, and then applying uh, machine learning and specifically having a, a new uh, deep learning model that I will introduce next, we are able to segment these pages into the elements of interest, such as tables, equations, and so on. Afterwards, we are able to apply OCR and extract this information from all these elements. And finally, we bring everything together into a semi-structured representation. You can view that as an HTML representation of this content that allows you to build knowledge extraction services on top. So let me focus a little bit on the first part, which is how do we recognize uh, these elements in the different images? Cosmos applies a new deep learning model. We refer to it as the attentive RCNN model, where this model basically for each element, its segment in, in the page, tries to understand the contextual semantics that characterize this element. As you would expect, it is easy for a human to understand that a figure caption should be close to a figure or a section header should be placed at the top of the page uh, a page header, sorry, uh, and so on and so forth. 
So Cosmos has a new distributed representation model that can parse basically an image that corresponds to a PDF page and give you a segmented output like the one you see here, where you have different elements within a page being recognized as equations, body texts, figures, figure captions, and tables. For efficiency reasons, this is a single unified model that literally acts like the eyes of our system. Given this output, the goal is to go from the segments to something more structured so that we can uh, store that and, and, and uh, uh, provide data to downstream analytics. So for instance, if I have an equation and going back to our previous examples, we have an equation and the parameters and the context, our goal, the goal of Cosmos is to extract knowledge from this multimodal data that we have recognized and extract structured representations such as the ones shown uh, here, where for instance, you keep track of all the different expressions that appeared in a publication. For each expression, you can have a table that lists all the parameters that are present in this expression. And finally, you can associate each of these parameters with observational data accessible through data frames that are present in tables in your publication. So let's see how we do that. To achieve this goal, we rely on the semi-structure, the intermediate semi-structure data representation that we have from Cosmos. And there are certain services, knowledge extraction services that we can directly uh, obtain from this representation. For instance, we can do entity recognition or we can do extraction of tables and conversion of tables to uh, um, uh, data frames. But we also have this other type of representation that tries to find a single unified representation of entities of interest that kind of aggregates information for different scientific entities coming from text, images, and graphs. For that, we rely on state-of-the-art technologies such as the transformer networks and specifically multi-headed attention networks that basically fuse these different contexts, these different references to these entities into a single unified representation. And using these two types of representations, Cosmos offers you microservices such as question and answering uh, functionalities, on-demand knowledge-based construction, data set generation, and so on. As you will see later in the demo, the domain scientists do not have to programmatically deploy any of these services. In fact, you can directly interact with a system using natural language or using re, uh, click and basically retrieve uh, interfaces. So just some examples of some of these services that are built directly into the intermediate representations that Cosmos has. Here you see uh, a knowledge base construction uh, about equations and variables. Um, so what you see here is a, a snippet from a publication where an equation and the corresponding variables and their definitions are automatically extracted by Cosmos and stored in a structured knowledge base that is readily accessible. This relies directly, this, this uh, uh, structured knowledge base is extracted directly from the semi-structured representation that we have for uh, our uh, PDFs. And the reason why we're able to do that is because we already know that this uh, specific uh, snippet of, of the PDF corresponds to an equation. Hence, we can parse it, identify the variables that are present in this equation, cross-reference them in the text portion of the document, and then do a natural language processing analysis to identify noun phrases associated with the corresponding variable mentions in the text. Another product, another service of, of Cosmos uh, is that of type of open domain retrieve and read interactions that, that Cosmos supports. For instance, we have the model, the shared uh, contextual model representation that we have for different entities. And by fine tuning the same model, we can offer different services. For instance, we can start with our pre-trained uh, model that consolidates all the context for different entities and fine tune it to be able to answer 
factoid questions. For instance, what is total organic carbon in my source code? These types of questions can allow users, as I will show you later in the demo, not only to extract definitions of these scientific quantities from the literature, but also extract observational data so that they can build empirical distributions over these scientific quantities. Another product that Cosmos is offering exactly by using the same model and fine tuning it for that purpose is that of automated knowledge base construction. Users can provide a few annotated examples directly on the PDFs and Cosmos by using the representations learned in this uh, unified context based embedding will actually automatically augment and uh, enrich an existing knowledge base. So this concludes the second part of our uh, presentation. And now I would like to show you a live demo of some of the capabilities that XDD together with Cosmos offered to, to accelerate scientific discovery. 